Today, work looks a lot different. How would you describe the workplace now versus, say, what it was like a few decades ago? A buyer's market versus a seller's market. Johnny Taylor is president and CEO of the Society of Human Resources Management. Back in the day, employers, if you will, bought talent. And so it was very much up to the employer to determine the terms and conditions of employment. Fast forward, in a knowledge-based economy, everyone now understands that they sell their talents and their skills to organizations. The seller, in this case, the American worker, is celebrated on Labor Day. Put simply, Labor Day, in some ways for many decades, was closely tied to labor unions in the United States, right? Um, especially up to the 1950s, 60s. At the time, union membership was defined by craft unions or guilds. Think skilled workers, carpenters, plumbers, and electricians. It's very much not connected to labor unions anymore, which have declined in membership, you know, really since the 1970s. That image of the guy in a sort of steel-toed boots and a hard hat, mostly that doesn't exist. Today, just over 11% of American workers are in unions, down from a high of over 30% in the 1950s. So how did we all end up getting the day off? Quick history lesson. Labor Day officially became a national holiday in 1894 in legislation signed by then President Grover Cleveland. Now, there's some dispute over which uh, labor leader first proposed the idea to kind of strike uh, one day a year. And then some state governments over the course of the 1880s um, started recognizing this as Labor Day. But the way we work has drastically changed. According to Pew Research Center, today, 14% of employees are fully remote. That's compared to 5.7% who worked from home in 2019 prior to the COVID pandemic. And the length of time spent in careers is changing too. Workers under 34 years old are on average switching careers every 1.3 years. That's compared to older employees switching every 4.9 years. Why have we seen these changes? Number one would be demographics. American birth rate's been on a decline. Translation, fewer workers and more demand. The second and perhaps most important reason is just the nature of business in a knowledge-based economy. And then there was COVID. The nation reached a 20-year high quit rate following the pandemic. The organizations who are going to win are the ones who get the right people and keep those people, keep them motivated. And so employers have to be far more focused now on how we treat our employees. And that's Labor Day simply simply explained. And one more note, that expert we spoke to, Johnny Taylor, also mentioned that the types of industries young people are working in are changing. New roles like content creators, influencers, and self-employed workers are changing the market with some workplaces updating their practices accordingly.